What if the space you thought you knew is not what it seems? This question invites us into a probing exploration of the enigma that is space. Traditionally, we perceive space as an extensive, vacant expanse, a cosmic backdrop against which our existence plays out. But what if this understanding is fundamentally flawed? Enter Mulat Tazibu, a spiritual philosopher who offers a unique and intriguing perspective. Tazibu challenges the typical view of space as a vast void external to us. Instead, he posits that space is not outside of us, it is an intrinsic part of our being. We are not mere spectators to space, we are part of its fabric. This perspective radically challenges the conventional concept of space as a distant entity ready for human exploration and understanding. Tazibu even questions the effectiveness of institutions like NASA, suggesting that their attempts to comprehend and control space might be destined for futility. Instead he proposes that the real understanding of space can only be achieved through introspection and spiritual enlightenment. Consider the analogy of a fish in the ocean. Much like a fish, unaware of the vastness of its watery world, we too are limited in our ability to grasp the true essence of space. Tazibu further likens our understanding of the universe to a baby in the womb, oblivious of the world beyond its immediate surroundings. Tazibu's view prompts us to seek the answers to the mysteries of space, not in external exploration, but in internal introspection. By exploring our own consciousness we can begin to unravel the secrets of the universe. This, he argues, is the path to enlightenment and understanding. Tazibu's perspective invites us to reevaluate our relationship with the world around us. Instead of seeing space as separate and distant, we should see it as an integral part of our existence. It is through this interconnectedness that we can begin to perceive the infinite and undefined nature of space and our place within it. As we dive deeper into Tazibu's perspective, prepare to challenge your perception of space. The mysteries of the universe await, not in the distant cosmos, but within the depths of our own consciousness. Imagine being a fish in the ocean, or a baby in the womb. These analogies serve as the foundation of Mulat Tazibu's perspective on our understanding of space. Let's delve deeper into these metaphors to understand his philosophy. The first analogy, the fish in the ocean, illustrates our limited comprehension of the vastness that surrounds us. A fish, while swimming in the ocean, is encompassed by water. But can it truly grasp the immensity of the ocean? The ocean is its entire world, but the fish has no concept of the shore, the continental shelves, or the ocean's depth. It's simply a part of the ocean. Similarly, we humans exist in the vast expanse of space, yet struggle to comprehend its magnitude. Like the fish, we live within it. But can we truly understand the infinite dimensions of our universe? Now consider the second analogy, the baby in the womb. Tazibu uses this to represent our unawareness of the world beyond our immediate surroundings. The unborn child, encased in its mother's womb, has no knowledge of the outside world. Its perception is limited to the comforting warmth and the muffled sounds of its immediate environment. It knows nothing of the world it will soon join. In the same way we humans, wrapped in our cosmic womb of the universe, are oblivious to the full extent of space's grandeur. These analogies are more than mere comparisons. They are tools that Tazibu uses to challenge our conventional understanding of space. He contends that our perception of space as an external separate entity is a flawed perspective. Like the fish in the ocean and the baby in the womb, we are not separate from space, we are an integral part of it. This viewpoint turns conventional wisdom on its head. We often think of space as something to be explored, studied and understood. We send probes, telescopes, and astronauts into the cosmos in an attempt to unravel its mysteries. Yet, Tazibu suggests that true comprehension of space does not lie in external exploration, but in internal introspection. Our understanding of space, he argues, is limited by our own perceptions, much like the fish's understanding of the ocean and the baby's awareness of the outside world. The key to expanding this understanding lies not in reaching out, but in looking within. By exploring our own consciousness we can begin to uncover the mysteries of the universe and our place within it. Just like the fish in the ocean and the baby in the womb, we are yet to comprehend the true nature of space. Tazibu's analogies serve as a profound reminder of our place in the cosmos. They challenge us to rethink our relationship with space and encourage us to view it not as a separate entity, but as an intrinsic part of our existence. In doing so they open up a new way of understanding space, one that is as boundless and infinite as the universe itself. What if the key to understanding space lies within us? 
This is the question that spiritual philosopher Mulat Tazibu urges us to consider. He suggests that the answers to the mysteries of the universe do not lie in the vast expanse of the cosmos, but rather within our own consciousness. Tazibu's perspective is a stark departure from traditional space exploration. We've often looked to the stars, the planets, and the galaxies beyond our own, searching for clues about the universe and our place within it. We've sent probes to Mars, established space stations, and even walked on the moon. Yet Tazibu argues that these external explorations, while impressive, may not lead us to the true understanding of space. Instead, he posits that the exploration of our internal space, our consciousness, is the path to understanding the cosmos. Just like the fish in the ocean, or the baby in the womb, our perception of the world is limited by our physical senses. However, through introspection and spiritual enlightenment we can transcend these limitations and gain insight into the true nature of space. This is not to undermine the importance of scientific exploration. Rather, it's to complement it with a different perspective, one that encourages us to delve into our inner selves. Tazibu's philosophy suggests that by exploring our own consciousness, we can begin to understand the interconnectedness of all things and our integral place within the universe. This inward journey, Tazibu argues, is an exploration of a different kind of space, a space within us that is infinite and undefined, just like the universe itself. It's a journey that can lead us to a deeper understanding of the cosmos and our place within it, a journey that can shed light on the mysteries of the universe that have long baffled humanity. So, as we continue to gaze at the stars and venture into the cosmos, let's not forget to look within ourselves. For the exploration of inner space, might just be the answer we seek. How does this perspective reshape our understanding of our existence? The implications of Tazibu's perspective are profound and far-reaching. This shift in perspective invites us to view space not as a separate entity, but as an integral part of our existence. We are not just observers of space, but active participants within it. This is a radical departure from traditional views which often position us as mere spectators in the cosmic theater. Tazibu's perspective prompts us to question the validity of our current understanding of space. It challenges the notion that space is something to be conquered, a frontier to be explored. Instead, it suggests that space is something to be experienced, to be felt and understood on a deeply personal level. This has major implications not just for the field of space science, but for our collective understanding of reality itself. Furthermore, Tazibu's perspective encourages us to rethink our relationship with the universe. It invites us to see ourselves not as separate entities, but as interconnected parts of a larger whole. This interconnectedness, Tazibu argues, is not just a philosophical concept but a fundamental truth of existence. By embracing this truth we can begin to perceive the universe not as a collection of separate objects but as a unified field of consciousness. Moreover, Tazibu's perspective offers a potential pathway to spiritual enlightenment. By turning our gaze inward and exploring the depths of our own consciousness, we can begin to unravel the mysteries of the universe. This inward journey, Tazibu suggests, is the key to understanding the true nature of space and our place within it. Tazibu's perspective also has profound implications for the way we live our lives. It encourages us to view our actions not in isolation, but in the context of the larger cosmic dance. Every choice we make, every action we take is part of this dance, shaping and being shaped by the infinite expanse of space, our existence in space intertwined in a dance of cosmic proportions. This is the vision that Tazibu offers us, a vision of unity, interconnectedness, and infinite possibility. It's a vision that challenges us to rethink our place in the universe and our relationship with the space around us. Let's embrace this dance and continue our journey towards understanding the true nature of our existence. In a universe of boundless mysteries, could the essence of space be closer than we think? We've delved into the profound insights of Mulat Tazibu, an unconventional thinker who challenges us to question our understanding of space. He proposes that space isn't some distant external void, but rather an intrinsic part of our very existence. This perspective encourages us to turn our gaze inward, to seek understanding and enlightenment within ourselves. Like a fish in the ocean or a baby in the womb, our perception of the universe is inherently limited. Yet it's within these limitations that the true nature of space can be explored. This spiritual approach to understanding space presents an enlightening alternative to traditional views, inviting us to consider the boundless mysteries of the universe from a fresh perspective. 
So, as we continue to ponder the nature of space, remember, the answers may lie closer than we think.